FBI being brought in to investigate the NFL's response. Rutgers has suspended leading wide receiver. Two San Antonio high school football players who each blindsided a referee. Carolina being placed on probation. Hello, I'm Emmett Gill and welcome to the Two Minute Warning. Last weekend, Penn State University honored former football coach Joe Paterno by celebrating the 50th anniversary of his season coaching the Nittany Lions. The 100,000 fans who attended the game, with the exception of some Temple fans, stood and cheered and honored a man who for all of the good things he did for and via football enabled decades of abuse of young boys. Paterno was either ignorant, oblivious, or just didn't care, and either or all three are reasons not to honor Paterno. From my viewpoint, Paterno is nothing more than a selfish football coach who protected a serial sexual abuser to his benefit and the benefit of the Penn State University football program. Earlier this summer, when trying to sort out insurance payments to victims, it was revealed that Paterno was aware of sexual abuse by Jerry Sandusky as far back as 1976. One of the victims testified that after Sandusky put his finger in the victim's rectum, that he told Paterno. According to the victim, Joe Accessory to Sexual Abuse said, I don't want to hear about any of that kind of stuff. I have a football season to worry about. Okay. Say that that conversation never happened. Well, some of Joe Pa's assistant coaches apparently also knew. According to the testimony of Michael McQuarrie, at least two assistant coaches, Tom Bradley and Greg Schiano, knew of the abuse. We all know that in college football, whether it's in 2016 or 1986, assistant coaches let head coaches know everything. And I mean everything. We cannot dismiss these testimonies and conclude that Paterno was oblivious. Before I close, let me make sure I get this in. Football and religion are synonymous. And if God pays attention to college football or college football programs, he will to Penn State. Penn State will never, and I mean never, ever, win a national title until they repent for the sins of Paterno, Graham Spanner, Timothy Curley, Gary Schultz, Jerry Sandusky, and all who enabled these crimes against vulnerable children. I think the world of Penn State Athletic Director Sandy Barber and cannot believe that she would willingly co-sign on an effort to honor a pedophile protector. And let me say that I also think the world of James Franklin and wish him no ill will, but the ebb and flow of the universe will never shine on that disgraced football program in Sad Valley. Much love to the Temple fans who said he turned his back and will turn ours. I'm Emmett Gill, this has been the Two Minute Warning, and thank you for joining us.